interesting new poll just came out that shows 60% of Americans, CNN. six in 10 Americans, uh, support the indictment of Donald Trump. They approve of the indictment of Donald Trump. Um, a, a majority of Americans believe politics played some role in it. Uh, but it, And I always say, yes, Donald Trump's base still supports him, but we're talking on the margins. You know, and, and for those margins, those are independent swings, voters, et cetera, et cetera. That's why this next line is so important. Independents largely line up in support of the indictment with 60% approving of it and 38% disapproving of it. Uh, and um, while views on the indictment are split along party lines, the poll finds that majorities across major demographic divides all approve of the decision to indict the former president. That includes gender, 62% of women, 58% of men, racial and ethnic groups, 80% of black adults, 71% of Hispanic adults, 51% wow. of white adults, generational lines, 69% under age 35, 62% age 35 to 49, 53% age 50 to 64, and 54% for those 65 and older. And I just want to continue because I find this fascinating. And even educational levels, which is usually the great divide, 68% with college degrees, 56% with some college or less. Mike Barnacle, um, this is fascinating. And, and again, it goes to what we've been saying for some time. Yeah, he can get, he can get people holding up witch hunt signs in his rallies if he wants to. But the majority of Americans across all demographic lines believe that Donald Trump should be indicted and believe and support the the indictment of Donald Trump. I must add, caveat here: they don't know what he's getting indicted for exactly yet. Well, but Mike, uh, pretty remarkable change because we sit here and we focus so much on on the Trump base, and here we have a poll that shows the overwhelming majority of Americans believe he should be indicted. Well, you're right, Joe. And those numbers are surprising. And the, the, the real key to those numbers, as you just read, this is before tomorrow's indictment will be unsealed. And we don't know what will be entailed in the unsealing of the indictment. And it's well before the special counsel, Jack Smith, comes in with a probable indictment, which will be much, I think, much more serious than what we see tomorrow as well as the Georgia indictment, which is pending, apparently, Lawrence O'Donnell just told us, the first week in May. All of those, all of those, the weight of those will only enhance those poll numbers, I would think.